or coco le grule qui parle. I'm not, I'm not translating that in the sign language. I gave it a shot. Uh, 1978, 80 minutes, color manual, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I don't have much to say about this one. Um, it's pretty simplistic. Um, just, it was about a uh, it's a documentary um, about a uh, famous gorilla who was uh, taught sign language, which was, I guess... I guess it was controversial just because, um, I guess, forcing, I guess some people thought it was, uh, they were forcing sign language upon the gorilla or something. Um, but it's still really neat. Um, it's still neat. Um, uh, Coco is working with this woman, uh, Penny Patterson, who is, uh, I guess, her therapist, or if you will, uh, Coco's therapist. And, like, they were teaching her all these words. And you see her actually, you know, she actually, you know, can can converse with her, you know, she knows, I think, I think at one point she knows over 300 words, I think, or 200, 300, and we see, you know, Penny playing with Coco and, you know, teaching her things, and uh, at one point uh, another monkey named Michael, who only knows, I think, a dozen words, comes in, and they, I think they have a kind of a fall in love with each other, and yeah, it's, I mean, it's, uh, again, it's, it's a documentary, it's a pretty simple documentary, it's not, little to no plot it's just kind of an observational piece about this you know a really intelligent gorilla um and it's a trip you know it's it's very just it's interesting to, it's fantastic to know that you know that we all have the power to you know to speak you know we can all you know if we if we you know spend enough time we can teach others to communicate with us or we can learn how to communicate with others and you know, break down barriers and things like that. Um, <laughs> again, I don't, I don't know what else to say. I think it was just, it was a, it was a wonderful little movie, uh, and way the fuck better than my tree say. Oh lord, because this is the, this is the only other um, Schroeder movie we have in the Criterion Collection. He's done, you know, a bevy of other, you know, English speaking ones. Ones that I wouldn't mind seeing, like Single White Female, um, and then a couple other, you know, quite a few others. And then, um, and then, but his first two. I want to see his first two. Um, uh, Moore and LaValle, because uh, for those of you who are huge Pink Floyd, Floyd fans, like me, you know, I think we're, I think we're all screaming for those to be uh, released. But no, I'm, although they have been released, um, and I'm going off on a tangent here, uh, Pink Floyd just recently released their their the early years box set, which is this huge box set containing I think over 27 discs of audio and and all these posters and vinyl and things like that. This huge box and it's almost it's like over 550 bucks, which is way too expensive. Um, but the only the bo box set has I guess they'll be separated. They'll be um they'll be released separately. The volumes will be released separately. Um, next year in 2017 but um, the set the box set the whole box set that's out now is the only place where you can get the bonus volume that has on like a blu-ray uh, both the movie more and uh, La Valie which both feature the soundtracks by uh, both feature the, the soundtracks by uh, Pink Floyd and uh, I really want, I've always, ever since hear, seeing the, you know, the movies, I mean, hearing the soundtracks, I've always wanted to see the movies, you know. And it just so happens that Barbara Schroeder directed both these movies. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, so uh, what's Criterion's deal, you know? If they can do it, why can't Criterion, you know? Why haven't Criterion? What are they doing spending time releasing Punch Drunk Love, you know? What the heck are they doing releasing, you know, the Before Trilogy, you know? Like, why can't we get these other movies, you know? I mean, I've read the plots, and I've heard they're really, you know, they're kind of, I don't know if I'll even like the plot. I don't like the plots very much, but to hear Pink Floyd would be a plus, you know? The same way, you know, I mean, maybe it'd be the same case of, like, Elevator to the Gallows, you know? Love the soundtrack, but the movie leaves something to be desired for. But Anyway, that's all I have to say, um... You know, because the only other movie we was General Idi Amin Dada, My Tree Say, and uh, Coco Talking Gorilla. And, uh, yeah, two documentaries and a really, really, really shitty movie. 
So, what are you going to say? Anyway, that's all I got. Coco, Talking Gorilla, um, give it an A. A, it's a fantastic little documentary. Um, Penny does come off as a bit of a, I don't know, as a, like, hey, there's cameras here, and, uh, you know, act for me, monkey, you know, kind of thing, you know. So, I, I don't know, she, she had been criticized for her work with, uh, with Coco. Um, but, um, yeah, uh, that's, I mean, outside, still, it's, it's a really interesting documentary, and, you know, I think Schroeder pulled it off. A. Um, the only other big, really big supplement is an 11-minute interview with Schroeder talking about, you know, how he got started on the project and, you know, working with Coco and how much he loved working with her. Um, and, uh, there's also the French soundtrack. Um, the, the, the movie, uh, the audio was produced in English, um, because, you know, it was set in San Francisco. Um, but, you know, Barbara, you know, had to produce it and produced it in French as well. And so, you know, there's the French soundtrack if you feel so inclined, you know. And yeah, that's it. So, Coco Dog and Gorilla A. Nice little documentary. All right, that's it for today. Tomorrow, Canterbury Tale. Um, yeah, more Powell and Pressburger. Then next week, Moral Tales and all that good stuff. So yeah, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. Oh, thank you for watching. And uh, um, I don't have any more. I oh, gosh, morals. Uh, don't. Uh, I don't know. Don't chew on the cords. If your if your name is Michael, don't chew on cords. If you've seen the movie, you know what that means. Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for Canterbury Tale. And until then, goodbye.